not something that you live in regret like all the days of your life you're wishing you never met this lady no it's not it's not that's not the problem that's not the omelette is only good as the eggs right yeah. your single season now that you're single it matters what you do Please take advantage of the things God has placed around you. <laughs> <laughs> please, please, this is how it is to prepare for a marriage. <laughs> See, my daughter just... Okay. But why did you give her a book? My goodness, this is a whole message. <laughs> anyways, anyways, yes. So God is very deliberate to place people around you and create things around you that will help you prepare for what is to come so don't be aggressive towards the things around you don't frown at the insufficiencies you see don't complain and complain even being in a country like nigeria there is a reason why god allowed you to be there what can you learn from it while you are there so that you can be better in the next level that god is placing you See, God is deliberate. I want you to also be deliberate with your life and prepare for the next phase. Prepare for the next phase. The, what determines your success in the next phase? Someone said something, that if you cheat to pass an exam, that you kill your confidence for the next exam. You kill your confidence for the next exam. So please take advantage of this season and make sure that you're learning as much as you can about yourself and making adjustments mm -hmm. so that you will be the best spouse that the other person would have met in their entire life. All right. The last thing I want to talk about before we go is that prepare for marriage prayerfully. Prepare for marriage prayerfully. Prepare. Be a man and a woman of prayer. As a man, you will be the priest of your home. You are not just a husband, you are not just a father, you are also assuming the role of a priest. There will be times, there will be challenges in marriage where you have to step into your priesthood, not just your fatherhood or your husbandhood. You have to step into your priesthood because life is full of unanticipated challenges. <laughs> life is full of unanticipated challenges. What would determine your victory is how you respond to those challenges. If you have not been a person, a man or a woman of prayer, it will be difficult. That means you'll be defeated every time you go through difficult situations. So learn to be a man and a woman of prayer, not just in marriage, now that you are single. Prayer is one of the... <laughs> okay. Let me, let me hold it. It's fine. Say hi to everyone since you prayer, want to <laughs> prayer is one <laughs> prayer is one of the things that will keep your home together. You may enter marriage and probably need to trust God for the foot of the womb. You may enter marriage and probably you know, probably had a miscarriage or uh, I, I mean a, 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 a threat from the kingdom of darkness. What will determine your victory is not uh, your fatherhood or your husband is your priesthood the ability to you to take your place as the covering over your home I am telling you life is full of unanticipated challenges. We don't choose our challenges in life We don't but we must be well equipped for the days of adversity so that we don't crumble in those days We don't learn how to fight at the battlefront. You learn how to fight before the day of battle I remember a place in the scripture um, Rebecca was barren. She was not with a with, she was not with a child and Bible says she cried to Isaac that give me and Isaac was like ah, why are you disturbing me <laughs> that uh, closed your womb and Bible says that Isaac prayed to God on for on behalf for, for his wife and the Lord opened the womb of Rebecca yeah. so it, that's the power of priesthood as a woman see the prayer of your husband can open up the heavens over you yeah. so if you get married to an unbeliever someone that does not know God you've automatically carried the devil as your father-in-law mm -hmm. if you marry <laughs> someone <laughs> if you marry someone that does that is not devoted or committed to the things of the spirit when you find yourself in difficult challenges you will you see ah if there is one thing that is powerful that the devil respects in marriage is that spiritual agreement between a man and a woman there is nothing we've ever agreed as a spouse in in the spirit that god has not answered i'm telling you there's hardly anything we've agreed as as a couple that god has god honors the agreement in marriage that ability for both of you to stand together trust god for a thing and then release your faith god honors agreement. two are better than one yes. he says for they will have a better reward for their labor 
So your life should be better, not worse, now that you are married. So in my, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking now to the married people watching us, thinking, oh, my life has been backward. Maybe, and since I got married to this woman, since I got married to this man, maybe you've not been harnessing the power of agreement. You are always in disagreement with your spouse. You don't come. You don't. You don't condescend. Your. You don't. You don't subject your ego just to call. I mean, there are things you you need to sacrifice. You, there are times you need to put down your ego just so that peace will reign because God honors agreement. Once there is disagreement, the enemy can attack you. It can attack your wife. It can attack your children because you are the covering over the home. So when you are not giving to the Lord, when you are not giving to the things of the Spirit, you are exposing your family to the attacks of the enemy. So as a man, develop your priesthood. Whether you are single, whether you are married, this is important. It's not fine face that fights devil. Fine face cannot defeat devil. I'm saying it all that can and some cannot defeat devil. What is a spirituality like? What is a spirituality like? What is a spiritual? Have you seen that in most churches you will find more women than men? Women are looking for leadership. They are looking for priesthood. What they can't find in their husband, they, they find it in their pastor. And that's why they keep going for every prayer service. Because the man that should be covering them in prayers is not taking his place. He doesn't even show up for family devotion. He doesn't lead prayer. He doesn't even know how to pray. So you become the prayer warrior in your home. You, be, you become the covering, the alternative covering. I beg you in the name of God, as a man, take your place now that you are single love the lord not just for yourself for the sake of the generation that are attached to you um that's my yeah, two cents yes my two cents before we end this video I want to thank you all for joining us i mean it's it's a, it's an honor bringing the word of god to you and uh, we don't take it for granted that you choose to um um watch use your data spend your time here with us we do this once every month and that's the last saturday of every month so i want to encourage you to join us again in the month of november the last saturday in the month of november um it's going to be amazing i trust god to lead us um you, you can follow us on our social media platforms the the title for the next um next one the next one will be released on our social media page it could be on relationship it could be on marriage it could be on singleness it could be on purpose make sure you do well to join us and you can also share this video with other people all right everyone god bless you thank you for joining us see you next time Bye -bye. yeah thank you so who does she look like <laughs> please don't start this fight again who does she look like <laughs> this is a good time to do vote and and see who mm -hmm. does she look Who like? Who does she look like? And be mm -hmm. careful your answer. You know, there will not be a next session. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh -huh. Thank you. Please don't let me block you. Be careful of what you answer. Be careful. <laughs> be careful of the way you answer. If not, I will I will save you blocking. You know? uh, don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> All yes. right, everyone. All right, thank you, everyone. Thank you for joining uh -huh. us. Thank you, uh, Debola. Thank you, uh, Bliss see, Apparel. She's looking at Thank me. you. Like, oh, ah, shades of shame. God bless you. You can see your eyes. Thank you, Debbie. And, uh, who's a mommy and daddy? Halimat. <laughs> uh, thank you. Yes, thank you. Uh, now out of thank ten, you, Kira. daddy. Yeah. See, this is unfair. Why you people have not heard your name? So if you cannot see my post again, it's because I Samuzi, blocked you. So, Moses, you need your eyes to be anointed with <laughs> eyes out so that you will see. Ah. Yeah, well, I'm winning soon. All right, All right everyone. Take care. Thank you. Bye, everyone. God bless you. We love you. Forgotten how to go off on Instagram.